Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we need to take a look at a bunch of new cars that are going to be coming around in, well, Night Wanderer for Japan, Shrouded Fable over here. And might I suggest these are pretty gosh darn good cards that we need to be having a little bit of a look about. And there's a few different places we can start, but I want to start with an extremely interesting new Penny card. Of course, we had Penny back in Scarlet and Violet. As a side note, in Scarlet and Violet, we had an alternate art of Special Illustration Rare by Okacheke. Could we have that again, please? That would make me very happy indeed. But what we've got here isn't regular Penny. It's Cassiopeia and look. You... you the game's been out for ages, all right? The game's been out for ages. It's blatantly Penny. You know it's Penny. This uh, technically, I suppose, a tiny spoiler for the game. But look, if you play the Pokemon TCG, there is absolutely no way you can possibly look at the artwork of this card. Having seen the artwork of Penny from Scarlet and Violet 1 and not know it's the same person, I do not acknowledge this as a spoiler. I am not sorry. They've even got the same backpack and hoodie on. Come on. And uh, what we've got here is a supporter card that reads, You can play this card only when it is the last card in your hand. Search your deck for any two cards and put them into your hand. And then shuffle your deck. Yeah, it's great. It's absolutely brilliant. With one absolutely gigantic caveat, you have got to be able to empty your hand. Now, honestly, a lot of decks are going to be able to do this. Just naturally playing out your hand, it's going to work. I played Granble way too much when that was legal. And generally speaking, emptying out your hand is not the most difficult thing in the world. You'll be able to do it. There are some truly dumb combos that can be pulled off with this. I mean, firstly, if you're playing Pidgeot, for instance, then Pidgeot's kind of amazing with this. Because if you desperately need to get rid of... If you've got this and two other cards in your hand, then what you do is you search for Ultra Ball to discard those other two cards, search for anything or even nothing, and then boom, empty hand. Or you empty out your hand and just use Pidgeot to search for this. Or, and this might be my favourite, you combo with Squovit. Because what you do there is you use Squovit, go down to a one-card hand... Pray that that one card is not a supporter, because if it is, you might be in a little bit of trouble. And then you play that one card, and then you go and use Pidgeot to go and search for this, as an example. And then you're off and rolling. There will be times this fails. It's not always going to work, all right? There will be games where it doesn't work. But especially if you're playing something like Luminion, for instance, and you can just use Luminion to search for this when you know you're going to be able to empty out your hand and search for any two cards. Searching for any two cards is a very, very powerful effect. I think this could be brilliant. Just remember, it's not always going to work. I'm giving it four wassies. I really like this. I acknowledge that sometimes it will fail, and that's going to suck. But when it doesn't, or when you can manipulate your hand and deck such that it is going to work. I know this is going to be awesome. Now while we're talking about supporters, there is another supporter who is not pretending to be somebody that they're not. We've got ourselves Janine's Secret Technique. I love when they do this. When they just find random gym leaders from older games. Because I don't know why not. I just think that's wonderful. Okay, fine, it's not really a random game, it's from Gen 1. But that's not the point, all right? The point is, this is we're in like Gen 9 at the moment. We just get a random Gen 1 gym leader getting their own supporter card. That makes me very, very happy. So what does it actually do? Well, we've got Janine's Secret Technique. You choose up to two of your Darkness-type Pokemon. Remember, this is very much a Darkness set. And for each of those Pokemon, search your deck for a basic Darkness Energy and attach it to them. If you attach to your active in this way, it is now poisoned. I mean, blatantly, this is designed for Okie Dokie. Well, that, that's not a surprise at this stage, right? This is just screaming Okie Dokie from the top of the roofs. Because what Okie Dokie does, firstly, you need extra energy. This will work. 
And free energy, 130, but if you're poisoned, 260. Remember, we've also got the Binding Mochi tool card, which does an extra 40 damage if you're poisoned. So Janine will give you an extra energy and activate that tool if you want it to. And all of a sudden, this is working really rather nicely. I like this a lot. It is just a slam dunk inclusion in Okie Doki. And as a side note, speed Okie Doki lists with this, they're kind of working. Like when I told you about this card before, I told you we had Dark Patch. And I said, look, Dark Patch is good, but you can only play four in your deck. It's going to give you decent energy acceleration, but you're then going to run out. And that's going to be a potential problem. But your first couple should get you over the line, you hope. But now, we've got Janine. And Janine is brilliant. Or Janine's secret technique. And then, of course, if you want to make sure you draw into Janine, you can go and search it out with Luminion. And then, all of a sudden, you guarantee that you've got it. If you don't want to venture Luminion, but you really want to up your chances of actually drawing into this, well, wonderful news. Because Poker Gear is still very much in the format. So you can go and use that to look at the top seven cards of your deck, find a supporter card, hopefully it's this, and then you can go and play it. Pal Pad is still in the format to shuffle it back into your deck to reuse it, and the point I am making here is you're fine. If you want to be using this, you should be able to use this basically every turn, and now, I mean, Okie Dokie already did great damage, the mass, by the way, if you've forgotten, basically, you do 260, but then it's plus 10 for poison, so you're 270, plus you do 40 for the tool, which puts you up to 310, which most of the time is going to be enough, but if it's not, you've got Perilous Jungle and Radiant Hisui and Sneasler, both of which will add... Two damage counters for poison during Pokemon checkup. And Okie Doki at that point will literally one hit KO anything. Yeah, fine. I'll be the old thing with heroes cape or something that, that can get around him. You know what I'm saying here. Maximum natural HP is 340 and this goes over it. It's nuts. And now we've got good energy acceleration. Now, admittedly, you will need Janine's secret technique and a dark patch and attachment from your hand to get this going in one turn. But you know what? Give it a turn or two in, and you're just going to be chaining Janine, and you're going to have Dark Patch, and your attachment for the turn, and you've got Okie Dokie's first attack if you really need it, which accelerates two energy to it. You're going to be fine. Hang on a second, Wossy. Haven't you always told us that using supporter cards that don't draw cards can be risky? Yes. Yes, I have. Don't worry about it. Because we've got the new Crobat with the ability Shadow Envoy. Once during your turn, if you play Janine's Secret Technique from your hand, you may draw until you have eight cards in hand. That's ridiculous. That is phenomenal draw. Now it is on a stage two, but it does also have free retreats. So it's a nice handy bonus. You've got a free retreater. And yeah, like it's, it's not perfect. Don't get me wrong. But it is a very nice option. I mean, look, you've always got stuff like Bibarel you can be playing. Like, we have plenty of draw engines in the game right now that you can be using so that you can open up your supporter slot for the turn for Janine's Secret Technique. But I'm saying, as a stage two, this is genuinely brilliant. Because drawing until you've got eight cards in your hand is nuts. Bibarel draws until you've got five. This draws until you've got eight. As a fun side note, you can always use a Zubat with Revealing Echo while you're playing this evolution line. So you can look at your opponent's hand. It's got 40 HP, but the maximum we got on Zubat is 50. Zubat's got horrendous HP, all right? Sorry about that. But it's at least a nice little handy bonus. And we don't have any good Golbat, honestly. All the Golbat are kind of terrible. But the one from Silver Tempest at least has free retreat. It's got 10 less HP than the others, but it does have free retreat, which might be a nice bonus. But look, if you get this stage 2 evolved up, it's got phenomenal draw. And then we got a supporter card that can accelerate two energy. And the downside is poisoning you. But actually, you kind of want to be poisoned. I don't know how well this is going to work. But I think Janine makes Okie Dokie great. My only real concern is having a good enough draw engine. And Crobat might solve that. There is also another world in which Crobat is not good enough as a stage two. And using Janine every turn just screws up your draw too much. 
especially when you're trying to grab stuff like dark passion it just never actually works i'm not saying it's guaranteed to work but I am saying there is enough here to get me very, very excited. I've been on the Okie Dokie train since we first saw that card. And if, like me, you've been excited about a super aggressive Okie Dokie deck, this might be what you've been waiting for. I'm giving the whole thing four Wossies. I know there is a decent chance that Crobat is just worse than the other draw engines we've got around at the moment. And it's too awkward as a stage two. And you've got to play Janine and blah, blah, blah. But I do think that Janine is great here. And... It's just going to make Okie Dokie better. And I thought it was a good card anyway. Now you're telling me we got to support a card, which is just a great little extra bonus. Oh, I'm in, ladies and gentlemen. I am all the way in. But there's one other card we need to talk about. And this is actually a little disappointing to me. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Because what we've got, we've got a new stretcher. We've got ourselves nightly stretcher. And it means you can either... Put one Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand, or one basic energy from your discard pile into your hand. And most of you are going to be thinking, well, hang on a second, Wossy. Isn't that just bad rescue stretcher? <sighs> yeah. It's not exactly the same. Like, rescue stretcher could put one into your hand, or it could shuffle three into your deck. This puts one into your hand... Or a basic energy into your hand. And don't get me wrong. There will be games where getting that basic energy back is absolutely huge. And yes, I know we've got Super Rod in the format. But we don't always want it in our deck. Sometimes we need the energy in our hand right now. And it's always been the case that if you're getting cards to your hand rather than your deck, you get fewer of them. I and mean, Rescue Stretcher itself is a great example of this. One to your hand or three to your deck. But... The fact that we're replacing shuffling three Pokemon into our deck, we're getting one basic energy to our hand. I don't think that's a great trade-off, personally. I don't think it's garbage, and I think it will see play. But I don't think it's necessarily a great one, and that just makes me sad, honestly. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I just think this is a little bit sad. I think the best way to say this is, it's not good, especially compared to what we had before. But it might actually still work because it might, you know, if you're looking at getting Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand, it still does that. So, I don't know, between three and four Wossies, we don't give half Wossies, that would be barbaric. Let's go for that. It'll do for now. And now it's over to you guys. I want to know what you think about these cards. I want to know which ones you're excited about. I want to know if you didn't know that Penny was Cassiopeia, in which case we might need to have a word. Or just play the game. For now, let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio. Where you can support the channel. Get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. Oh, and get shout outs on the channel. Like the lovely Uncle Poker Peter, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.